Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Michigan's been on a roll lately, but a winning streak is only important if it continues to be a winning streak. By extending it, we'll see if they can get it done in this one. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. It's fielded at the two. At the 30. And he's taken down at the 35. Michigan's offense really centered around this quarterback. And as he goes, the team seems to go. Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film. And one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Yeah, any time a quarterback makes a throw like this, the best thing a wide receiver can do is come over to the quarterback and pat him on the back and tell him to shake it off and let's make the next play a better play. The worst thing you can do is put your arms up in the air as if you're blaming the quarterback. Come over, tell him it's all right, and you move on. And a quick throw. Knocked out of bounds. The 42-yard line. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. Third down and three coming up. Ball on the 42. Here he goes. He's pushed out of bounds right around midfield. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 50. Now he's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 47. And run up the gut and a six yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. Callahan awaiting the return. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Fights forward to about the 23. That makes it second and eight. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Tackle at the 26. He takes the option pitch and gets two, maybe three yards. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Get to that quickly. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. Great effort here by the wideout to secure the ball and pick up some extra yardage. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37. him up two yards with that catch. That makes it second and eight. From 
their own 39 yard line. It's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Potter gains around six yards on the run. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. Brought down around the 50-yard line. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Quick pass. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage, and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. And this play is number eight on the drive. throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they got him. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Fourth and long here after the sack. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Quick strike, and he drops it. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. That makes it second down, second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 31. Pass is tipped away. The Wolverines have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. That brings up fourth and eleven. Robbins awaits the snap. And he muffed it. And down he goes at the 40. Kirk, he broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. Well, at least for now, the crisis was averted, and they keep control of the ball. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 50. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Steps out of bounds at the 47-yard line. First down.
And it's almost picked off. Hey, I know he dropped it, but the safety put himself in a position to make a play. That's impressive. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Slings it. And they push him out at the 36-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. From the 36 yard line, it's second down. Hands off left, and they got him behind the line. into this place. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. There was a defender right in his face that time. You have a great concentration by the receiver to come away with this ball. Nice job. This is the eighth play of the drive. On the reception, look out. Nobody there. Touchdown, Notre Dame. the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. Let's catch up to date on what's going on in Lincoln. And for Nebraska, they've won two straight. The Cornhuskers pull it off by a single. In another game, the Knights were ranked 21st. They got the W, but it wasn't overly impressive. And for UCF, they remain red hot. The Knights pull it out by a field goal. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Notre Dame yet set to kick this one away. Number 16, deep to return. From the center. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Notre Dame's got people flying all over the field on defense right now. Boy, they sure do. Right now, we're just seeing great defensive effort. They have a plan. They understand it. They're playing with great speed, and they're not giving up big plays. That's why they're playing well up to this point. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change the game plan. They'll bring him down at the 38. First and 10. Ball on their own 38. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. The Fighting Irish lead, 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Three down, three down. Seven to Mike. Mike seven. Spread two. Six. Tackled after a decent pickup. He 
laterals. And he hits him hard at the 39. one and he's tackled at the 39 yard line just nowhere for the ball carrier to go as the linebacker met him in the backfield boy what great play recognition by this linebacker he saw the run was coming and he just shot through the gap and made a great tackle from the 39 yard line second down he tackles him for a loss and that run got stuck yeah you're right the defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there Here's the eighth play of the series. Come on, I'm on. Red two. Green. Three. Three. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Tackle made at about the 43-yard line. The completion won't even be close to the sticks, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they'll give them the short yards in that situation just as long as they keep them from getting a first down. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Notre Dame is up a score. They pick up two on the pass play. This young wide receiver has the raw ability to make some big plays. So that was a good job there by the defense to stop him for a short game. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. And down he goes around the 31-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Makes it out to about the 40. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. field in the gun with five wide receivers. Nice run up the middle. Good yardage there on the option. Outstanding play. Well executed. Here it is. Third down and they come up big on the run. From their own 44 yard line. First down. Short pass middle of the field and he's taken down right around the 46 yard line. Second and one. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll get him for a loss. This is the eighth play of this drive. Notre Dame is up seven. Under heavy pressure. He's going to come up shy of the first down marker, guys. Had that not been a great defensive effort, he would have easily gotten there. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Here's a run. And they're 
they're stopped short, and they'll turn it over. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Flips it, middle to the running back. He's at the 40. He's pushed out of bounds around the 38-yard line. He had a couple of freight trains coming at him, but when they blitzed, it created a hole in the coverage, and they took advantage of it. From the 38-yard line, first down. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's at the 20. Slides down. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. Tackle at the 14. Edwards picks up a yard on the play. Michigan's going to have to use their second time out of the half. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 14-yard line. And he throws it away. At the five. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. throw brought down at the three yard line players in there got it touchdown Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice seven play, 54 yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Moody, ready to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Fires out to his wideout. And that tackle very well could have saved a touchdown. This quarterback doesn't seem to be having any trouble with his own, does he? He recognized the receiver was behind the coverage, and he found him with a perfect strike. That's nice passing for a first down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's taken down at about the 31. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Complete. He's got room. Out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Yeah. 
fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped down on him. He scrambled, and he's going to come up with a sack. Notre Dame's called their final timeout, and for Jenkins, he gets to the quarterback again. So with the half ending, they're just going to try to put three points up on the board. Notre Dame is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he's got it. The return team looks ready to go. They need to take this one all the way in order to lead at the half. Henning from the two. A great first half comes to a close. Notre Dame's got a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. There is nothing, and I mean nothing, that is more important than turnovers. Now, so far, neither defense has been able to force one in this game. But you never know when that opportunity is going to come up. No, and people look at turnovers and they assume that it's luck a lot of times. But a lot of times it's preparation. It's being able to know that when certain teams line up like South Carolina back in 2002 in a certain formation where it's Tucson, Oakland, Stud. And they got a great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He kicks it off and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 24. They're set to go for another round. Notre Dame holds a field goal lead. It's broken up. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had them fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 24. Throws a bullet over the middle. And they make the stop at the 26. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. The crowd of this stadium, always a factor in a football game. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. <laughs> Room around the corner. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Makes it out to about the 33. From the 33-yard line, first down. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. And he's tackled after positive yardage. 
makes it third and 11. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. Passes it to the middle of the field. And he's tackled right around the 30. Number 28 on the tackle at the 30-yard line. That brings us fourth and seven. Got it, but he's going to be stopped short. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Notre Dame is up a field goal. Gets out to around the 38. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll make it second and four. He's hit and taken down. First down. From the 31 yard line. First down. Quick strike, and he drops it. Potter gets the ball. Gets out to about the 31. down and they need to get it to the 21. Notre Dame is up by three. Caught with room to work. And he tackles him hard at the 10. First down, 10 to go. 10 yards to the end zone. Here's the screen to the wideout. Tackle made right around the four-yard line. They'll get six yards. Simple bubble screen here to the receiver. He did a pretty good job of picking up some yardage before he went down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Across midfield. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown!
Here's the extra point to draw within three points. And he hits the PAT. Moody has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Man, both offenses here in this third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront a little bit. Makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And he throws right away. And it's caught. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Notre Dame has a three-point lead. And now he's got room to run. Runs outside for a nice game. And the option to the halfback gets six yards. That'll make it second and four. Incomplete to the fullback. They're about four yards away here on third down. This crowd can really be intimidating for an opposing team. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That's a gain of 12 on the play. That makes it first and goal. run there. The halfback picks up maybe five yards on the draw play. That brings up second and goal. It's second and goal. Ball on the four. Touchdown Irish. a great job with some tough running right there when you get close to the end zone things get very tight and it's tough to maneuver and he converts the extra point it was a six play 75 yard drive and they get it in for seven Brad I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff from the five-yard line, he gets out to about the 28-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Caught, open field. He's out of bounds at the 30-yard line. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He fires this one. Steps up. Fires 
quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. And that'll make it fourth down. This is a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Callahan, the return man. Callahan fields at the 29, so he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Potter gets six yards on the carry. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And this is still anyone's ball game as we head into the final quarter of play. Notre Dame's got a 10-point lead. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He fights forward to about the 49. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here's the give. Nice run to the outside. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Throws out, got his back again. He's tackled at about the 41. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. And he goes down quickly. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of five yards. First down. From the 29 yard line. First down. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the 21. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. Here's play number 10 on the drive. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Tackled after decent pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 17 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Four 
run left side. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. And he adds the extra point. A 12-play, 62-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Number 16. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Quick shot to the tailback and through his hands. Number 16, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. With the pass incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. The wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. They go to the ground and he stops short. Loss of four yards on the play. That'll make it fourth and 14. Robbins awaits the snap. Michigan's usually a very stout team on defense, but they're not living up to the clippings in this one, Herbie. Where's the swagger? Where's the attitude? Where's the emotion that we're used to seeing from these guys? Right now, they're back on their heels, almost looking confused. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He's been tearing it up in the running game. That carry puts him over 100 yards. This young man has had one of those games that the head coach, I'm sure, is thinking about, you know what, let's try to build around this guy and look into the future and try to build our offense around him. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Just over two minutes in the game. Makes the catch and look out. Tackle around the 28-yard line. He's hit the 300-yard mark with that throw. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. And they make the stop at the 25. The ball game's over, and our final score in this one, 31-14, Fighting Irish.
As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Michigan probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.